This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Explorer. It is a 2006 Ford Explorer. Uh, it's an Eddie Bauer. It's a four liter, six cylinder, four wheel drive. Um, and it's loaded up. Uh, has 118,298 miles. It was a theft recovery uh, purchased directly from an insurance company in Vallejo, California, which is basically San Francisco. Um, it's on a clear title. We brought it here, um, do an inspection. My guys hand me this, uh, Eddie Bauer, third seat, navigation, DVD, rear AC, runs and drives great. What do we have to do to it? Um, new tires, oil and filter, new sunroof motor, and an air filter. And I waited a, till the last second, uh, and or waiting for a part to show up. The third seat, which is a power third seat, was supposed to show up by noon today, and it didn't. The original seat, the uh, electronics in it weren't working correctly. Uh, one side wouldn't go down, the other side wouldn't go So we're gonna do this video, it doesn't have it, we'll guarantee you you'll have a correct tan leather power seat when you buy this thing. It's supposed to be here, uh, apparently the truck broke down, it's supposed to be on Tuesday, it's Friday, October 4th, it's supposed to be here next, whatever the 9th or whatever the Tuesday is. Um, anyhow, I'm gonna walk around this thing, I'll show you what's happening here. Um, like I said, it's got a new set of tires on it, we just put on it. All right, brand new rubber discount tires. It's a really pretty vehicle. It was prettier until uh, the shippers got a hold of it uh, and they left. Uh, I'm not sure when I bought it, it didn't have this on the top of the door. Um, and now it does. So needless to say, I didn't pay the shipper. That, that still irritates the shit out of me. But uh, it's a beautiful car. I mean, I almost want to fix that, but I want to keep it the value in it. So I'm not going to but it's taking everything I've got in me not to fix that. Um, kind of ridiculous. Anyway, like I said, uh, I should have brought the, uh, the original seat. We still have the original seat. We took it out because we figured we'd be ready the minute the seat got here. So it's electric up down seat. See this? Obviously it's gone, but I guarantee you it will be there. We have one. It's just not here yet. So, um, we will add photos of it to the photo gallery, hopefully on Tuesday, but uh, I imagine it'll be sold by then. But if not, you will see pictures, photos of the, uh, of the third seat, okay? A couple little things like this, but uh, for an 06, it's a damn good looking truck. All right, let me, uh, truck, I guess you'd call it, it's an SUV. All right, mileage. 118,306 miles on this truck, okay? First thing I want to do... Go into the hood. Everything looks great here. There you go. Just like it's supposed to look. Window up and down. All right, we'll give you some more information. Here's the Kelly Blue Book on the uh, Eddie Bauer Explorer with 118,000 miles. Typical listing price would be $6,900 with a range of 5,500 to 7,000, okay? Here's the uh, Carfax for the vehicle. They basically blend the uh, Carfax and the Kelly Blue Book uh, together now, and they come up with a history-based uh, retail value of $7,320. Um, there's the uh, VIN, no accidents reported. It says damage. It's not the ding on the passenger door, because that happened after I bought it, but I'm, I can't find anything, and everything's original on this car, so wasn't a car accident, I don't know. Um, Carfax one owner, that's today. I did this uh, Carfax today. Ba -ba -bum. People wanna know why we don't just have a link for these the Carfaxes. Because Carfax uh, doesn't think that us paying them $989 a month for Carfaxes is enough. They want money for each Carfax uh, that we link. I mean, it's ridiculous, so. 
that would obviously get passed on to you. Obviously, and by the way, look at the services on this thing. It's great. Um, so I'd rather just save you the money and just run this camera over it. They can't detect this through their technology, so. Oh, this is a good one. So in 2012, it got a brand new transmission at Walnut Creek Ford. So probably somewhere, what, about 55,000 miles, it got a new transmission. Just keep going here. They service the same dealer every time. They probably missed this car, <laughs> you know? And then whatever happened to it, it's not an accident. So they probably, it says left front. I don't see anything up there, man. Uh, I don't get it. It says not all damage is caused by an accident, obviously. Um, so they might have pushed into a bush and needed to paint the bumper or something. I don't know. Um, da -da 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 -da, still Walnut Creek Ford. And then it was stolen 12 16 of 18, recovered 6 12 of 19. Okay. Here's the title. This is a clear California title. There's the VIN. It was Capital Insurance. Um, 118,298 miles. 923.19 signed off to Wheel Kinetics. Okay. By the way, here's all, all the headphones and the remote. Okay. To go with this thing. Seat's in pretty good shape. A little bit of stitching going right here, but it looks good. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Let me see if I can make this. Uh, I didn't practice with a DVD player. Every DVD player does a different thing. But, ah, it is running right now. There's the DVD player right there, right? Let's see. Hit play. Uh, play unrated version. I think I have the volume down up front. So, anyway, so you do have a DVD player, right? There was a couple little holes in the headliner we had our, re our, our repair guy come and do. It does have rear air conditioning back here that you operate from up there so the kids can't do it themselves, which by the way is a great thing. I hate when you have your own controls in the back and you got the uh, masters of the universe, your children, up and down and I'm hot, I'm cold. Okay, well now you're all cold, right? Because I'm in charge. There's the VIN on the door. I mean, this is just a really nice little, uh, you know, uh, transportation vehicle. You know, it's got a lot going for it. It's not gonna be expensive. I fought the urge to fix that dent that they put in it, which I think was the right thing to do. All right, mirrors out, in, up, and down. Other side, out, in, up, and down. Driver's seat forward and back, up and down. Rear seat back forward and back. I think we have a tilt wheel here. Yep, like that, boom. All right, and then we got, let's see. Let's see, I gotta set that thing down right, there we go. All right, I hear the DVD. Let's see if we can actually hear it. By Storm, the most unlikely of heroes who has come out of nowhere and is now just one win away from freedom. Death Race. There, Death Race. So that would be Death Race you're listening to there. Let's see, and it has factory navigation, which is cool. And we are on Gardner Lane. That is us right there. Let's see, what else we got going on here? And a moonroof, then we had to fix the moonroof motor. So we replaced that. That wasn't working right. Let's see. That's the air in the back. I can hear that running. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We have adjustable pedals here. Down, up. Okay. Let's see. Traction control. See the light right there? On, on and off right there. See that? That'd be me doing that. Um, Let's see, we'll go to neutral. Then we're gonna go to four low. Now you see where traction control goes off and four low comes on. That's what happens in four low. And drive. And reverse in four low. 
All right, neutral. Then we're gonna go to four high. Traction control will come off. It stays in four wheel drive. Drive. And reverse. Perfect. All right, and then we're gonna go back to four by four auto and go for a ride. It's a nice rig, man. Uh, all right, if you come to Sun and drive this home, you will pay the following. You will pay whatever your state tax rate is, plus our city tax rate of 2.6% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive your wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan that in your online file, so you'll be able to see it immediately, and then we will uh, mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in, okay? Uh, you'll have the uh, Explorer shipped to you, and obviously the mail will beat it almost every time, like 99.9% .9 of the time. When the Explorer shows up by your shipper, you'll just take the title you already have and go get plates, simple. Uh, deposit, deposit is 500 bucks. God, this sucks, we're right behind all these guys. Uh, $500, once we have your deposit, we'll uh, uh, take it off uh, being for sale. It won't be for sale anymore, and uh, you'll be the owner, okay? Uh, it will stay for sale until we have a, uh, until we have a uh, uh, deposit, okay? So please make sure you get that deposit in. Last part of uh, every video, I say the same thing. Uh, I encourage you to verify that by looking at anything I've ever done thousands of videos in the last 12 years um, basically we don't have any salesmen which is great so we don't have to pay them like they do at the auto mall okay we don't have bottled water with our name on it we don't have a lounge to kick it in all day uh, you know scones and sandwiches they got all that at the mall right over there and they also have a lot bigger rent because they have really prime location, prime real estate next to uh, Tucson Mall, okay? Uh, we don't have that. You saw where we came from. Uh, so you're not paying for our location. You're not paying sales, but you're not paying for, uh, for uh, you know, lattes and scones. Uh, the other thing that they, don't, uh, that they offer you there that we're not going to offer you is future repairs. They charge you for future repairs. They know if something breaks on this car, you're gonna want it fixed. You're gonna go back to them and you're gonna say, fix my window, fix my, you know, door locks, fix whatever. And uh, they're going to. And they're going to because you already paid for it. <laughs> when you bought the car, they moved the price up so that that would be the case, all right? So uh, they can. Well, we're not going to do that, okay? We're not going to fix your car for you. Uh, you're the owner on day one, okay? Um, that, the fact that we're not going to do that uh, is a good thing. It means you save a ton of money when you buy it, okay? Uh, some of the money that you save will have to go into repair eventually because there's not a single car on the planet that won't break, including this one. Uh, the only thing we will guarantee you is that we will have the correct power, functioning power third seat. Uh, hopefully, it better be here on Tuesday because it was supposed to be here today. Uh, but uh, that will get done, okay? Uh, but, but, but I think that's about it. Beautiful car, it's a great ride. Um, Vallejo is an area where they don't allow anyone to go off-road anyway, in Northern California, you know what I mean? Um, so this car's probably never seen gravel. This is probably the roughest road it's ever been on, um, right here. Um, so it kind of uh, makes sense that it would have a beautiful ride. Anyway, it's also got a brand new set of tires. Uh, b -b 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 all right, I'm gonna park this guy right here and let my brother take photos of it. And uh, I think that's about it. Really nice car. Thank you for your time.